Gastroesophageal reflux disease, commonly called GERD, is a common chronic condition that affects about 20% of the U.S. population. GERD refers to the regurgitation of stomach contents into the esophagus, causing a retrosternal burning sensation commonly called heartburn. Clients may also have difficult or painful swallowing, nausea and increased belching. Long-term backflow of gastric contents can lead to Barrett's esophagus, a precancerous condition. Risk factors include obesity, age over 50, use of tobacco and alcohol, pregnancy, use of certain medications, and low socioeconomic status. GERD results from abnormalities like lower esophageal sphincter dysfunction, hiatal hernia, impaired esophageal mucosa, and altered peristalsis. The inappropriate relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter allows gastric contents into the esophagus, and the presence of a hiatal hernia can exacerbate this reflux. Repeated acid exposure damages the esophageal mucosa, potentially leading to Barrett's esophagus that can become cancerous. Impaired esophageal peristalsis, leading to decreased clearance of gastric contents, also causes reflux symptoms and mucosal damage. Diagnosis of GERD is often made based on client symptoms and response to a trial of proton pump inhibitors. For clients with severe symptoms, an esophagogostroduodenoscopy may be performed. Medical treatments include lifestyle modifications, medications, and possible surgery. Lifestyle changes are typically the first step for treating GERD. The client is taught to stop consuming food three hours before bed and to elevate the head of the bed to prevent reflux. Clients are also taught to modify their diet to reduce GERD symptoms by eliminating certain foods such as chocolate, caffeine, coffee, heavily spiced foods, foods with high citrus content, and carbonated beverages. If the client is obese, weight loss is encouraged. Proton pump inhibitors like lansoprozole and histamine H2 receptor antagonists like famotidine are effective in treating GERD because they reduce the production of gastric acid. Prokinetics like metoclopramide may be prescribed to promote esophageal peristalsis. Surgical procedures may be performed to repair hiatal hernias if medications fail. Nursing interventions focus on teaching about dietary and lifestyle changes. Nurses also monitor for signs and symptoms of potential aspiration caused by GERD. Evaluation includes assessing the effectiveness of treatment in managing symptoms and preventing complications and adjusting the care plan accordingly.